Yes, that is blood from my nose. I went to the emergency room twice. Look at that. So, I'm in bed. I'm still wearing the same shirt. The vlog from last night when my nose was bleeding. Okay, that was probably around 1 in the morning. It might have been earlier, like 12.30 or like around midnight, actually. My nose started bleeding and it didn't stop. Okay, it bled from, let's just say 12.30, 1 o'clock to 6 in the morning. And that, at 6 in the morning is when, is, is when I decided to go to the, I have low battery, decided to go to the emergency room. And uh, usually, because I could get my nose to stop bleeding, and sometimes it would feel like it stops, and then I would came, I was trying to go to bed all night, and I would come lay down, and it would just start, psh, so I couldn't stop it. So I went to the ER, and I just want to say, the doctor was a dick, and I was just like, dude, and that like, ugh, I have so much appreciation for female nurses. Because they're the ones that come for you. I guess it's the motherly instincts or stuff. They're the ones that come for you when you're in the ER, you know? The the dudes kind of just say, like, fucking man up. I'm like, fuck you, bro. You're not going through this shit. Um, excuse my language. I just... The dude, like, the male nurse, was he was, a, he was a dick. And then the doctor was a dick. So I was like, screw that. Um, but, like, the lady nurses were like, oh, how can I help you? What's going on? Blah, blah. So anyways, right, so he gets in there and he's looking, and like, I'm I'm gushing blood still, like, it's just, and, uh, man, okay, so I went to the, the urgent care, I want to say like, two months ago, or, not, yeah, maybe, maybe two months ago, I went to urgent care, and they showed me these stupid things to put up my nose or whatever, and... He was like, if you ever go to ER, what they're going to do is they're just going to throw these things called, um, they're called rhino rockets. He's like, they're just going to shove them up your nose, and it's a balloon that they inflate. Like, is it inflate? Yeah. They put air into, and it's supposed to pressurize your, like, your nose, right? It is the worst fucking thing in the world. And I'm sorry about all the cussing, but tonight has been the worst. I mean, I should say the last, pff, what, 12 hours have been terrible. Uh, not even. It's almost like, I don't know, man, 18 hours or something. I don't know. Terrible. Uh, so, it's this, basically like this cotton strip that's like that long, or it's pretty long. And they shove it in your nose, and it go, it keeps going and going all the way to the back of your throat. And then they inflate it with air. I did this twice. Oh my god. It was terrible. The first time I was like, dude, what the hell? And my nose still kept bleeding with it in there. And he was all, I might need to do both. And I was like, both? What the f And then uh, he took it out and he's like, alright, we're going to go ahead and do both. And at this point, I'm like kind of freaking out because I hear them talking outside. They're like, yeah, we're probably going to have to transfer him. We're probably going to have to transfer him. I'm like, what the f and then they started doing, like, blood work and stuff on me. And, oh, man. So, he does it again. But this time, he pushes it even farther back into my throat. And I could feel it poking my freaking throat. And then he inflates it, like, a lot. So, there's, like, this bubble. Uh -huh. oh. I mean, I could feel it, like, you know, in my throat. It was just, like... I could feel it, and when I swallowed, I'd have to swallow, and that thing would go, like, it would freaking, you know how when you push a ball, like a bouncy ball, and it, like, you know, it goes in and pops right back out? That's what it felt like in my throat, like, every time I swallowed. So it was ir irritating my throat, and I was freaking out, because I couldn't breathe out of this side, because it's, I have this big-ass tube thingy in my nose, and then this side is bleeding, starting to bleed because there's so much blood coming from this side. It's bleeding out, and I can't, I can't breathe that well because I have, the, I'm freaking out about this thing in my throat that is causing me to 
like barely breathe through my freaking mouth. And, uh, oh man. And then he's like being a dick because, all right, I, if you guys don't know this, like my biggest fear is drowning. Uh, well, death and drowning kind of go hand in hand, but I almost drowned when I was a child. So when I can't breathe, I freak the fuck out. And it's rare. It's rare. But, like, he was being a dick. And he was all, well, nothing's going to happen if I can't do the other side. I'm like, motherfucker, give me drugs. Give me drugs. And uh, I was freaking out. And uh, because it was already the second time, it hadn't stopped bleeding yet. And this, the second time he put that fucking thing in my throat... I was just like, this is the worst thing I've ever experienced. And then he wanted to do the other side. I was like, hell no, you're going to cut off my passageway and I'm going to (laughs) die. I was freaking out, you know. And if you have ever felt like drowning or you've never been able to breathe, you probably know how that is. It's the worst. He was a dick about it. He was like, well, nothing's going to happen. I'm telling you right now, nothing's going to happen. And then the nurses were like, it's the worst feeling. We know, trust me. And blah, blah, blah. And, um, like, oh, I don't know. So I was just, like, I was freaking out. And um, I was all, get this out of my nose. I was like, get this out of my nose. Because I was all, he was all, we can't do anything. I was like, it needs to be carterized, man. I went to the minor ER, and they couldn't carterize it there. I was like, that's what you need to do. You need to carterize my nose. And it's like, why would you not think about that? And I even told him this, that I've had it carterized before. And um, it was stupid. So he was like, well, you know, blah, 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 this and that. He was like, we're probably going to have to transfer you. I was like, well, let's do it, man. I need to get, I was like, get this out of my nose because I'm freaking out and it needs to be carterized. I know my nose, you know? And uh, he was like, all right, well, we're going to take it out. You sure you want me to take it out? You know, it's not going to stop. If I was like, take it out. <laughs> and um, it was terrible, man. Worst experience. And uh, yeah. So. I went to, I left there, and my nose was still bleeding slightly. It wasn't gushing out anymore. And that's what sucked, because I knew I was going to the other ER 